Now, the Minister of Education says Ghana is setting a standard for the phase of STEM education globally. Speaking at the launch of STEM Novation Competition 2023, Minister of Education Dr. Yao Ose Educhum revealed his ministry was committed to ensuring that STEM education was implemented duly in all schools across the country. Here's Jacqueline and Sumayabwe's report. Government introduced the STEM Innovation Competition in 2022 as a means of fostering the creative potential of senior high school students and those enrolled in technical, vocational and education training. At the launch of the 2023 edition of the competition, Education Minister Dr. Yao Osei Edichum said Ghana is setting a standard for the face of the STEM education globally with regards to infrastructure and innovations. Not the case. Ghana has done something that has attracted the attention of the world. Everywhere you go, they say, Ghana, we want to come and see. We want to come and see your STEM innovation that you are bringing into your country. People visit my office, they see the projects we've done, and they say, Is this really Ghana? And I said, I believe in evidence based communication from kindergarten all the way through primary schools. Innovation is happening. We are changing the face of public education once and for all. By the facilities that have been provided, maybe the way they dress. See the children dress up starting from primary six all the way to high school. And you begin to see that this country is on the transformation track. Next academic year, when you go to a town like Java in Ashanti region, and you see, that 10 of their old junior high schools are going to be closed forever. Maybe one day pulled down, demolished, so that I can move all the schools to a new learning environment, the new 21st century junior high school environment. Then you will know that change has come to Ghana and change has come to stay. He also revealed that the existing schools are being retooled and renovated to suit the current STEM requirement. Across this country, there is a move towards changing the way we teach and learn in existing schools and also ensuring that new schools are built. So new junior high schools that are STEM focused are under construction. We also have found resources to uh, actually rehabilitate existing schools and sometimes demolish and build new ones. I know the media sometimes give us a lead and we take advantage of it. a number of schools uh, that we are going to be building the, uh, within the next two months will be schools that were uh, told about by the media and we are rebuilding them, we are building new facilities for them. So on the whole, I think Ghana is making every effort not to lose out on the fourth industrial revolution. The first industrial revolution was the steam engine, the second was electricity, the third was about computers, now the fourth is about the major of electronics and physical. So that is why you're able to open your house using your eyes. So things are shifting. The artificial intelligence is bringing about different innovation. If we lose out, will not be able to catch up with the rest of the world, then we can't afford to lose up. STEM policy advisor, Professor Mark Adom Asamwa, revealed that Ghana is currently at 12% of STEM initiatives with stakeholders working to ensure the country reaches the required 60%. So there is a science um, and technology innovation policy, which says that 60% of all our products at the tertiary level should be science and the other 40 should be humanities. Since 2011, the national percentage has been at 12%. It went to 13% in 2016 and then it came back down to 12.1% currently. What we have to do is to increase what we call the STEM pipeline. What goes through from one end to the other. With regards to the STEM pipeline, we need to look at the whole education spectrum. We need to look at from kindergarten, we need to look at primary, junior high school, and senior high school. In terms of the STEM areas, we have created special path, um, pathways. These pathways are taking the students to be able to work in robotics, in um, engineering science, in manufacturing, 
in biomedical science and the rest. And we are hoping that with this introduction and also by trying to encourage those in the senior high schools, we will be able to increase the numbers. Urban gardening, efficient use of electricity and clean water are the three themes for the STEM innovation competition in 2023. And these will address issues in Ghana and beyond. For Joy News, Jacqueline Ansumayabua.